J. Ill. B. Rat. What are we talking about today? Proposition YY. It's a $3.5 billion bond proposal for the San Diego Unified School District. And this sounds familiar because... Because this is San Diego Unified's third bond proposal in 10 years. $3.5 billion sounds like a lot of money. It's a little bit more than walking around money. What would San Diego Unified use it for? A lot of it is going to be used for what you would expect, like upgrading classrooms and science labs, renovating the foundations of old buildings, improving plumbing, things like that. Okay, but weren't the school district's last two bonds supposed to pay for all that? Kind of. Voters approved a school bond in 2008 for $2.1 billion, and they approved another in 2012 for $2.8 billion. But the school district says about half of that money has already been spent, and the other half is allocated for specific projects. So this bond is adding on to previous bonds. Right, another $3.5 billion. It's paying for upgrades to some buildings and funding projects that weren't covered in the previous bonds, like improving school security. I talked to Scott Barnett about this. He's the spokesperson for the group supporting the bond measure. He showed me around the Grant K-8 school in Mission Valley to explain what the different bonds pay for. The building over here were built under Proposition S in 2008 and Proposition Z in 2012. And the very old administration building and these old bungalows are all going to be replaced. New buildings, new classrooms, new administration, library under Proposition YY. Who's against this bond? The San Diego County Taxpayers Association opposes it. They actually supported that first bond back in 2008, but now they say the school district should not be trying to take out another bond when we're still paying off those two previous bonds. The Here's the association's president, Haney Hong. I'll give you an, an analogy. They've already got two mortgages that they've taken out to build facilities and maintain them, and this is a third mortgage to pay for maintenance of buildings. So how does this bond get repaid? By homeowners. If you live in the San Diego Unified District, your taxes will go up about $60 for every $100,000 of your home's value. So if your home is worth $500,000, that's an extra $300 in taxes. There's a political committee trying to get this measure passed. How much money do they have and who's funding it? The committee is described as, and I'm quoting, a coalition of labor unions, school contractors, charter school advocates, and other civic leaders. It's raised more than $378,000, but the part to really pay attention to is where it says charter school advocates, because about 40% of the funding for this campaign has come from a single donor, the California Charter Schools Association. Why? Probably because San Diego Unified has 46 charter schools, and this ballot measure includes $580 million to help upgrade them. And how likely is it this measure will pass in November? Well, I'm not a wizard, so I can't predict it, but in 2012, the similar bond measure passed with 62% of the vote. Okay, and lastly, Jill, tell viewers how they can find out more about this. You can go to data.inewsource.org. We built an easy-to-use database that lets you search through more than $100 million in political campaign fundraising and spending in San Diego County, which has never been built before. That's where you can find this bond measure and other school district campaigns, like people running for school board. You can search by a campaign, a donor's name, their employer, their occupation. It's kind of a big deal. Jill Castellano. Brad Racino.